Hi there and welcome back to our series on PD medications purpose and mechanisms. This time we're going to be talking about anticholinergics, what they're taken for. Well, hey, that's in the title, purposes and mechanisms, right? So without saying any more, I'm going to cue the introduction and I'll see you on the other side. Welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Show, where we demystify the disease and empower you as the person with Parkinson's disease to reach your true potential. The content contained on this show is for informational purposes only and is not meant to be a replacement for information or advice that you receive from your in-person medical or therapy professionals. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and for an even more personalized experience, please ask us about our memberships. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. Okay, so anticholinergics. So anticholinergic medications block the absorption of acetylcholine. That's a neurotransmitter that's really a, a important for attention and memory, among other things. Now, as you'll see, when we talk about side effects, that could be a potential issue. So why are anticholinergics prescribed in the first place? Anticholinergics are one of the only medication classes out there that can really have an effect on tremor and dystonia. Those are two movement symptoms you can have with Parkinson's disease. Dystonia, uh, I'll link a video up above to what that is, but essentially you get painful cramps associated with a wearing off of your Parkinson's medication doses. <clears throat> other than tremor and dystonia, Anticholinergics really have no other role other than potentially reducing drooling in those that have sialuria or excess saliva production associated with their Parkinson's. So the two main anticholinergics that are prescribed are benztropine and trihexafenadyl 8-hydrochloride. Now, as previously mentioned, acetylcholine is important for attention and memory. So as a result of blocking the absorption of the acetylcholine, you can have confusion and short-term memory loss associated that are common side effects with this medication. That's particularly the case for those that are 70 and older. Again, like with multiple medications we've talked about, hallucinations can be a possible side effect. You can also have dry mouth, blurry vision, and urinary retention. As with every medication that we've talked about on this series, it's really kind of a cost-benefit analysis going on of, you know, is 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 it worth this side effect or the possibility of these side effects to relieve the the problems we're having over here tremor in this case tremor and dystonia is that worth it to possibly have these side effects or confusion hallucinations and um, short-term memory loss and things like that obviously if your symptoms are severe enough to take medications for it it's possible that the benefits do outweigh the cost or the negatives of taking it Again, that's something that only you can know experiencing your Parkinson's disease, and it's a conversation between you and your physician. Now, one quick fact, too, is that anticholinergics are among the oldest medications prescribed to treat Parkinson's disease, dating from the early 1900s, before levodopa even existed. I neglected to mention earlier with, this, with the uh, benztropine excuse me, benztropine and the trihexyphenidyl hydrochloride. I didn't mention the brand names. So cogentin is the first one, the benzotropine. And then the trihexyphenidyl is artane or formerly artane as the brand name. So if you're 70 plus with Parkinson's disease, these probably aren't the best medications for you. But if you have young onset Parkinson's disease or you're younger than 60, 65, so let's say, then this might be an option for you if you do have issues with drooling tremor or dystonia. That's all I've got for anticholinergics. Hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know in the comments and you know the drill. As always, be empowered. I'll see you in the next video.